Clemson University did an economic impact study in 2005 about the Heritage Tournament. According to that study, 84 million came to the state as a result of the tournament. Clemson is working on another study to update those results. The Heritage says they are the largest professional sporting event in our state. In Washington, D.C. now, the U.S. House plans to vote on a health reform legislation on Sunday, and all signs do point to that controversial bill passing. And if it does, State Attorney General Henry McMaster says he will file a lawsuit to stop it from becoming law. He told us by phone today the measure is unconstitutional. What the Congress is proposing to do, of course, it started with the Cornhusker kickback, which was a bribe to Senator, Senator Ben Nelson, and, uh, we, which would have required all the states, including South Carolina, to pay for the Medicaid extension in Nebraska. I don't know if that's going to be in the final bill or not, but one thing that will be in there, it appears, is a provision requiring every citizen to buy health insurance. Well, there's nothing in the Constitution that allows such a thing. That is going way beyond the Constitution. Well, Lieutenant Governor Andre Bauer will officially announce his candidacy for governor next week. Bauer is holding a kickoff tour where he will visit 15 sites around the state in 24 hours. It will conclude at the State House Tuesday at noon. Governor Sanford was at the Columbia Convention Center today speaking with members of the Columbia Rotary Club about the budget and the economy. The governor told the group he wanted to know what they uh, thought uh, and uh, could make uh, the difference in the economy. His overall message, change in politics does not happen until it has to. Even though she's no longer the uh, First Lady, Jenny Sanford will still host the annual First Lady's Easter Egg Hunt Monday at the Governor's Mansion. Before the divorce, she said she wanted to continue some of the First Lady traditions while her ex-husband is still in office. We are right in the middle of March Madness. We are. Clemson and Wofford were in action today, and there was a lot of eyes in the newsroom that were like this. Yeah. Checking out the uh, TVs. <laughs> People trying to work, trying to watch games, though, too. To find out how those teams made out, we're going to turn things over to Sports Director Bob Shields. We actually had three go to the tournament. Winthrop, remember, lost in the play-in game. Well, mm -hmm. today, two others fall short. Wofford's in the big dance for the first time ever. Gave Wisconsin a scare, but the Terriers did come up short in that upset bid. We'll have those highlights coming up in sports. And for the third straight year, Clemson is one and done in the NCAA tournament. The ACC's Tigers against the Missouri Tigers of the Big 12. And really, Mizzou's defense was the difference in this one. Those Tigers forced 20 turnovers, including 15 steals, and they just shut down Clemson star Trevor Booker most of the day. Booker had just 11 points, 11 rebounds in his final game of his career, an 86-78 loss. Our guy in Buffalo covering our Clemson Tigers is Ben Hayes. Well, Bob, yep, the, uh, the Tigers lost, as you said, 86-78 to Missouri for the third straight year. They're out in the first round, one and done. This was billed as a matchup of two teams with very similar styles. Both teams wanted to full court press and get up and down the floor. Clemson simply could not handle Missouri's pressure. They turned the ball over 20 times in this one, 13 times in the first half. That led to just a ton of easy baskets for the Missouri Tigers. They go on a big run in the second half and come away with the eight-point victory. I was in the uh, at the locker room after the game and you saw the Clemson players walking in, you didn't hear a peep out of them. They were very, very disappointed about their performance this afternoon. They thought they were going to win. We're going to have a lot more coming up in sports. We'll hear from head coach Oliver Purnell and the players about this loss. Bob? Thanks so much for that, Ben. Yeah, we appreciate that report. And uh, post-game comments, a lot of long faces for the Clemson Tigers. All right. Thank you, Scott. Well, the Columbia Census Office is opening for three hours a day to help people who have questions about the 2010 Census. They're located on 400 Northeast Drive, but they encourage you to give them a call instead of heading down there. That number is 803-239-5012. And the South Carolina Vision Education Partnership held their 10th annual Vision Summit today at the History Center in Columbia. The program just received grant from USC Upstate that will provide a Braille education throughout the state of South Carolina. We're still ahead for you now. The first day of spring is tomorrow. Yippee, yippee. <laughs> um, it's going to be nice You're going to hop like a bunny now, there? I think I might. Scotty Rowe is coming back with your true new forecast. You can make a difference in the fight against hunger by giving food from the heart. Saturday, March 27th, volunteers from Shandon Baptist and Northside Baptist Churches will be collecting food donations at grocery stores throughout Richland and Lexington counties. Join the fight and give food from the heart.